this is a, a recent story that's been building up over time. It's of a former mega preacher who basically has decided to divorce his wife. Now, this actually came out a couple of weeks ago. It was about two weeks ago, in fact, that this news came out. And at the time, I wanted to actually mention it on a live show, but I felt like God was telling me not to cover it at the time. And just to kind of get into some of the nitty gritties of this whole story, all of the links are gonna be below, okay, in the description box. Um, for stuff I reference as well for you to watch after this video but the fact of the matter is when I first heard the news two weeks ago one of the first things that was on my heart when I was hearing this was pray okay because one of the things you, you need to understand about this whole scenario is this is never good okay when a preacher in high status obviously i've already alluded to several times he was a former mega preacher mega mega church he was um, pastor at a mega church okay and so he's obviously probably really famous joshua harris and he's obviously got famous i guess from his book that he wrote about 20 years ago um talking about dating okay and kissing dating goodbye etc so he came out a couple of weeks ago and just deeply in my heart i felt to myself you know what pray um this guy this his wife they need prayer um the christians shouldn't look at this and just like ridicule them and just cast stones at them what they should be doing is praying and saying you know what um <clears throat> excuse me lifting them up in god's eyes basically and just saying these are people that were serving you um and i don't know them like that so i'm speaking from a distance just bear in mind but from the outset from what i've seen it seems like they were doing some really good work in god's kingdom and at that point you have to pray for these kind of people and say you know what god i pray that you can touch his heart i could pray that you can touch her heart her heart we obviously don't know the specific reason why they got divorced but we do know they are planning to get divorced if not already and we already know that in those circumstances um god doesn't like divorce okay and i'll even give you a couple of script references for that we've got malachi chapter four where i believe it's malachi chapter two actually where god's basically talking about this how he doesn't like putting away and we can reference you can reference that with matthew 19 first corinthians 7 romans 7 um just to name a couple but we should be praying for reconciliation in their life okay not that yeah they break up and they divorce and all these different kind of stuff and xyz the first thing whenever you hear of a married couple married christians basically being together the first thing you should always be is let's pray for reconciliation because reconciliation is obviously ultimately what god would always want in regards to marriage jesus said it in matthew 19 i referenced it already God said it in the beginning to become one flesh and let no man break that asunder so let it stay together so that's the first thing obviously in regards to this situation now the next part to this and this is probably why um i believe god was telling me not to mention this um in a previous show and god was like look don't mention this not talk about this yet um like i said i really wanted to talk about this two weeks ago when when the news came out and just like i said prayer was really strong on my heart but the fact of the matter is, I feel like the recent news that came out a couple of days ago is probably why God said, don't do it. Because on this channel, we're big on not just getting into gossip. Even if there's situations like this I've mentioned, I don't know all of the facts, but the facts I do know give me an opportunity to comment and say certain things. You don't want to be on different forums saying oh he did this he did this etc at the end of the day they're a married couple so we do know that they're getting divorced okay you can see that in the lower the lower um post that's on screen next to me okay we do know they're getting divorced and we do know that god doesn't like divorce so from that standpoint let's pray okay let's pray that they don't get divorced etc now where it gets a bit tricky to a certain degree is the fact that he's now came out okay in the, in the top post um a couple of days ago now saying he feels like he's fallen away he called it he referenced deconstruction okay he's he feels like at this point in time he's been in a in a cycle in a, in a phase of repentance for however long and because of that he doesn't feel like he's a christian anymore okay and obviously different people are piling on and even in this scenario here okay i'd still say pray okay 
pray that God can touch his heart, pray that God can touch his wife's heart and they can maybe hopefully reconcile. Pray that God can touch his heart and realize that the the things that he's feeling guilty for, okay, God can raise him up from those situations, okay? And in the scenario, loads of different news has come out that he started to affirm certain um beliefs and certain doctrines and all that kind of stuff and it does seem like he is drifting yeah and i was even reading this article today which was basically talking about how it was basically a strong rebuke to him basically how he was doing the right thing and how he's basically switched he's basically switched and gone full circle he can still come back okay if he wants to come back if he realizes that whatever he's done okay in most case scenarios whatever he's done okay i don't want to say a blanket statement because i don't live with the guy i don't know what the guy's been doing personally but in most case scenarios he he has an opportunity to come back okay and god will accept him okay he is leaving god god isn't necessarily leaving him even though you look at some of the facts and you think to yourself what's actually going on but the one thing i wanted to highlight as well about this is paul rejoiced okay this is one thing that i was i felt that was in my spirit okay um go through the different letters i believe even john does this in one of his epistles okay they rejoiced when they heard and they got news that people were still in the faith people were still in the faith contending for the faith etc okay so anytime you hear of someone that's still fighting that's still holding on okay you should address in those matters and even in this scenario like this there's a guy he's on the brink he's talking about how he's left um the church he doesn't feel like a christian he he he, he used to be um a pastor at a mega church okay think about and this is what gets lost in the shuffle a lot of the time think about the um, think about the sheep think about the congregations the people that have been following him how they must feel in this scenario he's been raising them up he's been teaching them he's been doing all of this different stuff to feed them and all of a sudden he's walking walking away okay and the sheep are always in a lot of cases just left in the shuffle 